I'm talking about putting on the spot, yeah. Hello, church. How you doing? My name is Charles Coley. This is my Paul Superity. I met this man I used to know about a month ago. And when I saw this man, he looked stressed out, beat down, like the negative things in life just about had his way with this man. I offered some help. He rejected me. But his eyes said different, so I kept pursuing. I managed to sit down and have a conversation with this man. I realized this man did not have any purpose or direction in life. And he told me he has a family that he put through a lot of heartache and pain, but they still support him. And he also told me he realized the decisions he made in life caused him great pain and he feels guilty. Then tears rolled down his eyes. And he said, I have two kids. I love them dearly and I would die for them. Then he looked me dead in my eyes and said he had enough. He asked me if I could help him. I just stared at this man. I couldn't take my eyes off of him. Then I said, why don't, why don't you let God just love you? He replied, I'd rather be in control, be admired, and be respected. As the stare got colder, then I realized I was staring in the mirror, talking to myself. See, I was that man with no purpose or direction in life. I was resisting the truth. Jesus Christ is the truth. He made me realize that dying for my loved ones, that's the easiest thing to do. Anybody can die for them, but can you live for them? That's the question. Jesus did all three. He lived, he died, then lived again. And see, being in control and being a myra, that was the fence mechanism from keeping me from being hurt. So he stripped me, broke me down to the point I felt vulnerable. Instead of hurting me, he just loved me and said, I will never leave you. How unconditional is that? On November 13th, I was introduced to the greatest man ever known, Jesus Christ. On November 15th, here on Building the Rock Community Church, I made a commitment to walk the path of righteousness with the men and nails, to live life of purity and brotherhood and to be a disciple and to put my sins to rest. See, today, I'm, I'm proud to say I'm a living example of lost people matter the guys he wants them found. So I want you to take a look in the mirror and ask yourself, are you lost? My name is Charles Coley, and this is my Paul Superior. Thank you.